don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. Hello, this is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Today we're going to be talking about the spool manager within Evolve Electrical. So to get started, we have our spool manager. And this is great for after you define your spool areas. This could be something where you define all of them or maybe just define a few. And then we can go into our spool manager. Within the spool manager, you can actually control a lot of different things. You're going to see we have different tabs for our spools and our prefab packages. Today I'm going to be focusing more on our spool tab here. So one of the first things that you will see is how I'm actually filtering and sorting my information. You can sort and filter this however makes sense to you. Right now I have it based on my prefab package, but we can even get more specific and go down to your level, get specific on which level that you want to be shown. Again, totally up to you on how you want to tackle this. You can also clear the filters and rearrange how you're going to be sorting it as well. But you're going to see from there, we have our spooled, our status, our spool name. We'll have, you know, kit ID, our phases, our title block. So if it is on a title block, it will show you what it is being used. Also, if you right click on your headers, you're going to see some more settings. So you can hide a column. You can also come in here and select your column chooser. And then from here, you can start to bring over these columns over here so you can actually have even more information shown within your spool manager which is definitely nice to be able to control that information for you so from there we have our rename spool so first you're going to select the spool that you want to rename and then we're going to go into our rename spool so you're going to see we have uh, replace and renumber existing values so that could be something where you can just create a new value here or we can also do our find and replace so an example of our find and replace let's say I want to change my SP so I'm gonna say find my SP and I'm gonna replace it with for this situation I'm just gonna say test and then that's going to be renaming my spool so now it's going to be our test dash 01 we also have our bulk update, which again, select your spool that you want to adjust. And then you're going to see we can come in here, choose a field name and a value that you want to quickly bulk update. And this is great when you have multiple spools selected. We also can create a prefab package, which I can show you in a later date. And then we have generate sheets. So generating sheet, it's pretty simple. You can choose your title block that you want for your sheet to be generated, which again, is going to be awesome. Also, you can quickly create a print set from here and we can open our selected generated sheets. So you're going to see my test 01 has been pulled up. This is really awesome for if you, again, have so many different sheets and you want to be able to quickly open them up and not have to go into your properties and select all of them. So that is today's Fun Feature Friday on Spool Manager. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.